What was the incident in your high school? A football player with the last name Sipahum got punished for some and was no longer allowed to walk the stage for graduation. One day. A friend of his pulled up in a truck outside of the cafeteria during lunch. Slammed on the brakes. Jumped out. And proceeded to sprint inside. He streaked through half the cafeteria with a Spider-Man mask on and free Paham painted on his bare ass. Staff tried to grab him and stop him. And despite him literally slipping on a piece of food and falling. He escaped valiantly, as any hero should. Eventually. Paham was once again allowed to walk the stage. Although I'm sure the stunt wasn't the only reason for it. My high school was recently in the news because a virus got into our school system and held the school's data at ransom for $300. So this happened yesterday and it was pretty wild for a Canadian school. At the end of the day there was a police car at the front of the school. Someone said they saw a kid get arrested when they went to the washroom. At the end of the day. A cop and the principal were standing at both back passenger windows talking to someone inside. We all just assumed that someone was getting arrested for selling drugs or something. The next day my homeroom teacher told us between 3rd and 4th period, the two afternoon periods in Canada, a former student who was about 20 years old blended in with students and snuck into the school hallways. He wandered through the hallways stealing from unlocked lockers and actually stole about 10 laptops from teachers classrooms somehow. They ended up catching him at the Tim Hortons down the road. Not sure what's gonna happen to him but someone said his mom was his getaway vehicle a couple blocks down the road. He just had to stop at Timmy's first. Only in Canada do people have to stop for a coffee and a donut mid-robbery. Kid threatened to shoot up the school because he didn't get invited to a party. Someone else got kicked off the morning announcements show for making a joke about our pink kids. The usual. High school one. Jostens, they make rings and ye books, was on campus to sell us our class rings. They had a Chicago Bears Super Bowl ring along with other famous rings they made. Somebody stole the Super Bowl ring. We were all called into an assembly to find the ring. The Jostens guy was close to tears. The ring was found in the hallway after the assembly was let out. High school 2. A couple girls got in a fight at the bus stop. One of them cut the other up with a box cutter and then tossed battery acid on her. Two guys in my year decided to bring about 50 cabbages into school and start a cabbage fight in the science corridor. All hell broke loose and cabbage leaves everywhere. Now you know who's the math problem guy. Went to a catholic high school. The chapel was on the basement level. Very secluded. And always left unlocked so students could go pray, no one ever did. Comma one day a couple of students went in there to have sx on the altar. Turns out they ended up trying an L and the girl all over the altar. The chapel was locked after that. We had a lot of other incidents but that was the one we can laugh about. Holy. One of the girls in my grade made cupcakes with cum. From a guy friend of hers. Hair. And toenails baked into them. She brought them to school and gave them to the people who bullied her. My sister had pay with some of the people who ate the cupcakes and needless to say they were not happy. End of senior year, some kid was caught on video having sx with his freshman girlfriend in an abandoned stairwell. Everyone saw the video and talked about it for weeks. I think he was charged with s or assault and was not able to graduate. Similar incident at my school. Teacher went through a kid's phone and found naked pics of his gf. He was 18 and she was 15. Cops got involved. They made him register as a sx offender. He killed himself two years after it. Funny enough. Few years later the teacher got busted cause he saved all the pics from the phone. I went to a private school where you weren't allowed to have your phone on you. One day the vice principal bursts into a classroom and says in a panic quick. I need to use someone's phone. 10 kids got detention and their phones confiscated. Screw you MR. Ours was a sad one. Our boys basketball team was traveling home from a game in inclement weather. The van caught some slush and lost control into the path of an oncoming tractor trailer. The coach was driving and survived. He lost his wife and 7 students. 
a very sad tragedy. I didn't transfer in until after it happened. But I had a classmate who was in the room when it happened. Our 9th grade year, 1989 to 1990. One of the guys in the theater drama class had been threatening suicide and to hurt friends and classmates. She and all her friends went to the teachers and principal. But were told they could do nothing because he had no history and therefore. He had to do something first. He did. Walked in mid-class. Took the entire room, including my friend and her friends who had reported his threats, hostage. Brandished the gun around repeatedly. Then shot one of their mutual friends who was trying to talk him down. Kid lost his ear. But not his life. Thankfully. She was still giving legal depositions two years later when I met her. Which is how I heard the story. We never had a school camp. Because the last time they held one. That's a mine camp. Not high school but I remember in elementary school. We got put on lockdown because someone thought there was a rabid fox on the field. It was a fat orange cat. Which? Guy takes massive off the top floor of a massive stairwell. Same stairwell. Someone drops a pressurized can of soda cracking open a teacher's skull. Someone brought in a decommissioned World War 1 authentic stick grenade. The entire school was evacuated onto one yard for four hours while bomb squad were on their way. Our school's counselor who took kids out of lessons to help with low self esteem committed suicide. That one's a bit sad tbh. Drama teacher got arrested for convincing two 14 year old students to have sx while he watched and he still works there. And a music teacher got sacked for coming and drunk. Twice. I love lower class Britain. Some boys in the saxophone section of marching band made a Christmas card featuring them nude except for Santa hats and their sax covering their sax. They distributed to the whole band. Which at our school was a pretty large number of people. School tried to confiscate them for being lewd but of course they couldn't get them all. Besides. People had camera phones and Facebook. Somebody threw a dead deer into the quad. I think they only got in trouble because they broke some lights on the roof while doing it. Two girls were fighting over boy. They were in the bathroom. In the same stall. While they were fighting one of the girls took out a pair of scissors and stabbed the other in the eye. The girl who stabbed her was expelled and the other girl turned out to be just fine and went back to school like everything was normal. The creepy part was. My classroom was the closest one to the bathroom and we didn't hear anything. We just saw the cops. It creeps me out to think it happened a couple feet away from me. Oh man. One time this kid I was friends with brought this hot sauce called our bomb. One. Five million Scoville units. Hotter than hell. To high school and let a bunch of kids try it during lunch. I mean at least 30 kids. Some kids really started freaking out because that is ridiculously hot. Like you're supposed to add one or two drops to a big batch of chili to make it spicy. Some were trying to show off and took a swig of it and ended up vomiting everywhere from the heat panic. Multiple kids had to go to the nurse and be sent home because they way overdid it. Although I think most just really had no idea what a Scoville unit was or that they made hot sauce that was that ridiculously hot. It was chaos. I tried it as well. A dime size amount. And I couldn't concentrate on anything but chugging milk. And I'm really good with spicy foods. Finally the principal came on the intercom and said whoever brought the hot sauce please. Just stop. My friend got into some pretty big trouble for that one. That's the principal's sound of defeat. Someone called in a bomb threat to my middle school and elementary school. Instead of evacuating both buildings we were in lockdown for 3 hours and they condensed all of us in the middle school. We later evacuated to the high school only like 300 feet away and were stuck there for hours because our parents couldn't get to us. All of our phones were taken because they didn't want us giving information so there were like 700 white moms in suburbans simultaneously having a heart attack trying to get to the school. Semicolon. We learned later they called this into almost every school in the area. Semicolon. There was a robbery at a Bank of America while the cops were preoccupied. 
Another school in the district had a student come to an assembly dressed in a KKK hood so we all had to have a huge assembly and there were a bunch of posters around school about what to do if you feel discriminated against. Being racist aside. What the was he thinking? We had an in-building sub who would be the first sub called and usually worked every day at the school. A few months into school he was arrested and fired because it turned out he was getting two students to blow him after school. They were 14. He was caught because one of the girl's parents had installed some program on their computer and found the AIM chats. He ended up killing himself before going to jail. There had been rumors since my freshman year about the assistant principal taking a certain special interest in a few of the girls. Almost everyone wrote it off as high school kids starting stupid rumors. Until my senior year. When four police officers came in after school and walked him out in cuffs in front of a few hundred students watching a basketball game against another school. He was eyeing one of the girls in my grade and selling her oxycodone in the hallways. Got 10 years. Senior year we received our ebooks the week of graduation and to our surprise the full page action shot for men's soccer showcased our player jumping up and lifting one leg to trap and control the ball. Unfortunately. He forgot to wear underwear that game and the tip of his whiner was fully visible sticking out of the bottom of his shorts. Our school had over 4. 000 students and we were required to bring our yearbook into security to have the dick sharpied over or we would not be able to walk out graduation. The image of school admins having to sharpie in the same penis for 000 times is gold. A guy went into the locker room during gym class and into another guy's backpack. It. Since so many people asked. This happened in a German school in 2014 or 2015. The guy didn't face any consequences although almost everyone knew who did it. Our principal pretty much was like yeah. Let's not talk about this. The story also spread like a wildfire in our town and I had friends from different schools text me about it before I even came home that day. My grade lost 3 students. Sophomore year a boy was in the passenger side of a truck leaving a party and was t-boned by a drunk driver and died. Junior year within days of each other a boy jumped out of the back of the bus in an attempt to skip school and go to the beach. He died days later in the hospital. A few guys skipped school to go dirt biking. One of the guys crashed without a helmet and died in his best friend's arms. The entire time I was in high school only 3 students at our school died. All were in my grade level. I cried watching their parents accept their diplomas at graduation. It was the last day for the senior class. There were only two significant pranks that day. The principal's office was filled with balloons and glitter. And the main hallway entrance was saran wrapped. About an hour before the day ended. The principal came over the loudspeaker and said that anyone caught participating in a prank would not walk out the graduation ceremony. About a minute after he said this. The fire alarm went off. A guy who was near the principal said that he got angry and said out loud someone's not walking before storming off. An entire wing of the school was hazy and smoke was pouring out of a classroom. Turns out the science teacher was doing a laser experiment for his class and created too much smoke with a smoke machine. Last year. In a middle school in my district. There was a baking contest. Some 8th grader put cum in a pastry and gave it to a teacher judge. She ate it and later ended up pressing charges. Also. For the senior prank at my school. Someone brought in a giant DLDO. 5 plus FT tall. Covered it with lube and glued it to the floor. I'm imagining a teacher tasting the pastry and immediately going. This is filled with cum. Please tell me this is what happened. One of the students ditched high school one day and rode his dirt bike really fast in front of the school popping a wheelie while the school was still in session. He wiped out and slid and hit his head on a light pole and died right in front of the school across the street. Really sad and super crazy. Edit. This was in Bakersfield, California. It's crazy how many other places this has happened. Also. No helmet was involved that I'm aware of. A few people have mentioned the light pole. It can also be called a lamp post. Or light pole. Sheesh. The pole received all kinds of attention after. 
People writing notes on it. People leaving flowers and lighters and so on. It was really weird. I wouldn't want to be remembered by what killed me. But I think a lot of students didn't have anywhere else to mourn him. This happened in grade school but a moose escaped a local zoo and somehow made its way to our schoolyard during our recess. We were all rushed inside and the school was put into a lockdown situation until the moose left the yard. One guess what country I'm from. Did it. Wow this blew up. Anyone who guessed Canada is right. We were all called to an emergency assembly and told a student had died. Her friends were distraught and even the people who didn't know her went quiet. I think I remember a group of students putting together a type of memorial card. The whole morning was morbid. Until the dead girl arrived at school and didn't know what was going on. Someone threw a fork. Hit some 12 year old girl and got stuck in her head. This was back in the 70s. In 7th grade some girl just started groping the boys. If you got close to her she would immediately grab your groin or butt. Whichever was closer. Sometimes she would grab both at the same time. Of course the boys started groping her back and it turned into a common thing to do and she let it happen. The boys then started groping other girls. Some went along with it and thought it was funny. Others got upset and told teachers and the principal. The principal called a big assembly and read the riot act. The girl that started it all acted shocked and outraged but the adults knew she was the one that started the whole thing. Sometimes that kind of behavior is caused by being a victim of SZL abuse. My middle school gym teacher. Whose name was ironically MR. Dick. My freshman year some dude stabbed a guy that was bullying his cousin. Made it to the news and everything. We had to pass through metal detectors for the next two years. Was crazy. When I was in high school. Our hick town school had a gang called the Cobras who would spray paint Cobras on school property. Write it on desks. In the bathrooms. Basically everywhere. It was dumb and many of the students had a good idea who was a part of this gang but the teachers didn't. The principal would call down groups for photos in the yearbook. Siblings. Sports teams. Drama club. ETC. On overhead announcements. And one day they called down the Cobras for a school photo for the yearbook. To try and figure out who they were. They caught almost half the students who were defacing school property because they showed up for the group photo. Edit. No. They didn't get a photo in the yearbook. Edit 2. Multiple people have shown up from my high school. Yes. Gym cooling system overheated and caught on fire. During the homecoming parade. That and state police had to show up two years ago after an increase of freshman fights in the cafeteria. It got to the point to where there were some rumors that school security had to use a taser on one of the kids after a fight to subdue. The rumor was complete BS. And our football team had to cancel a home game. And concede the game. Over potential threats. It was a crappy junior year. 2017 to 2018. Someone found a gun on campus. And like 3 or 4 posts on social media about shooting up the school. One of them actually caused a lockdown during class because the student was across the street from the school with a gun. According to someone who supposedly got on the police radio frequency. They never revealed the whole story to try to reduce rumors from spreading. Which just lead to more rumors. It was pretty funny. Edit. Oh. Some girl set a trash can on fire to escape taking a test. We had a teacher who was super nice. She was out for 3 days and we didn't question it much until she wasn't there again for the next week. Turns out her husband murdered her quite brutally. So quiet the next few months for that class we didn't really know how to process it. He's in prison and kids with the grandparents last I read. Quite sad. This kid was doing pull ups on a door frame in our wood shop and some of his friends thought it would be funny to place a pipe bender under his ass. When he finished his pull ups and dropped off the frame. The pipe bender went straight up his butt and tore his rectum open. Kid didn't graduate cause he spent so much time in the ER and now he has to in a bag. 
when I was in 11th grade the big incident was this 10th grader who sent a video to her boyfriend of her fingering herself while playing bitches love Sosa and this video somehow got out into the basketball game between us and our rival school. They started singing love Sosa and kicked off. Her boyfriend got thrown out the game. Came to post that the senior football captain impregnated the senior head cheerleader my freshman year. Then read everyone else's posts. Jesus Christ. People. We had a shooting. An outbreak of syphilis. And a thwarted stabbing attack by a teacher's ex-husband. Kid punched a school cop. He pepper sprayed the entire hallway of kids including me going to class. Tons of PPL ended up going to the hospital. Every year somebody died. Freshman. A senior drowned in a lake. Sophomore. Another guy drowned. Junior. A girl got ejected from her friend's car. Senior. A girl got stabbed like 18 times with a gardening tool. Literally like a day after that girl got ejected from her car. These two guys got caught sucking each other off in the bathroom. Edit. Literally like a day after that girl got ejected from her car. These two guys got caught sucking each other off in the bathroom. Were these incidents related? Two kids got caught eyeing in the ceiling. Like they took panels off the ceiling. Climbed into the small space there. And Ed. Imagine you in the middle of math 9 and you hear moaning in the ceiling. In my primary school someone had spread around the bathroom which they then blamed on me. Word got around and it was known by teachers and students that I had spread around the bathroom. Even though I was in class. My teacher denied that though. I left that school rather soon after the spreading incident. Someone took a massive in the boys bathroom. Like huge. Like so big that there is still a debate about whether or not there was actually human or if it was smuggled in somehow. So notable that everyone from my consumer ec class got up individually to go to the bathroom and drop their join or at the absolute spectacle that was this. Multiple jokes were made about it at school events and to this day no one knows who did the poop. This wasn't in my high school. But back in middle school someone got taken to court for bringing vodka to school in water bottles and then selling it to other students, 7th grade. There was also the crazy British kid who got suspended after saying he'd shoot up the school, also 7th grade. He apparently came back to the school a few months later. But I never met him. On the topic of violence. We also had several anonymous bomb threats left in the Spanish classroom throughout my 8th grade year. Teachers treated my high school like a dating site. Two teachers were known to have married students, after they graduated. Long after graduation. Two teachers got charged with molesting many students. The cool guy Spanish teacher got arrested for eyeing students also the athletic director got caught bribing the families of good athletes to be there. Some unknown guy killed a prof in his office and apparently hid out in the drywall space in the medical school building for a few days. The police ended up having to clear out that building like it's a war zone and they never caught the killer. They think it was either. 1. A crazy student. 2. A bit of office politics that gone murderous as the professor was just about to get the plum gig in the department. 3. An escaped crazy person from the local mental hospital which was for some reason on the grounds of the university right behind the physics building. 4. Some combination. Thereof. A 14 year old sent around a video of herself. The police came in and checked people's phones and made them delete it. She got busted for making and distributing. Also another girl in a can of drink and somehow wrote on the wall stinks then left then can just under it in the girls bathroom. Someone I knew tried to call in a bomb threat from a payphone during finals week. This was in the 90s and nobody took him seriously. And the school found out who it was and suspended him for like a couple days. I'd imagine now the school would go on lockdown. Or just close and not let any students in. Since he did it early in the morning. The kid would probably end up getting arrested by a SWAT team with a bomb squad nearby. Cost the city a fortune. Get jailed. Or at least expelled. And their life would be ruined. 
In my sister's high school the assistant principal was arrested for dealing cocaine at the university downtown. Our nickname was Heroin High. People left in the hallways on the regular. More than one teacher has been arrested for child pornography and or relationship with a student and or our pay. That entire four years of my life was the incident. Edit. From the amount of people asking if this is in their area. I've realized my school isn't the only one like this which is a scary thought to have. Edit 2.